Hey filmmaker Shun here. In this video we're going to show you how to improve the image from the SJ Cam in Premiere Pro. Especially um, yeah, the SJ4000 you can see the dynamic range of the image here is not that great. It's yeah you can see uh, the sky is pretty much um, yeah it has few blown out areas and also the shadows are really really dark. However, one thing is, it still retains quite a lot of details in the shadow, so you can actually retrieve the uh, shadow information. So, to do that, personally, the easiest way is using shadow and highlight. So, this is a quite simple way to fix it. However, there are a few things you have to know about shadow and highlight effect. Do not use the auto amounts, even though it automatically can do uh, or change the settings to uh, a quite okay settings. However, uh, through the video, it can actually, you can see that it's showing a certain glitch. And it actually can like uh, go dark and lighter. So, especially with a moving image. So the best way is to turn that off and manually set how bright you want it to be. So here we can see the difference and especially here in the water under the boat and in the trees we can now see the green leaves much better. You can see that is a lot of details in the shadow retrieved and even though this can darken the sky with the highlight i do not advise to use the highlight especially it's not as stable as uh, the shadow the highlight actually uh, still can glitch and yeah i'm not sure if i can show you it because certain clips it actually looks okay but most of the time it will glitch so it's better to actually film with the SJ cam slightly darker to capture the sky and then to retrieve the shadow detail in Premiere or in the editing software so same here this image actually looks quite good uh, the, we have like nice clouds in the sky however uh, again we don't have that much detail so here you can see it didn't do much uh, after I added it however if we turn this off you can see we can do we can get a much better image so with out and with the shadow and highlight effect so yeah and you can see it doesn't need that much and auto doesn't always work as great there's another one so it, it's more advisable to manually set the shadow amount especially uh, auto it's sometimes overblowns it or actually doesn't add that much and the highlight amount keep it at zero so it doesn't do odd things or sometimes it makes some kind of glitchy effect in the video let's go through here we have also one clock tower where we can show you so this clock tower looks really dark sky is really nice and detailed now we can already looks much better and then here we can see it brightens up much more so yeah and also doesn't affect the image that much so you can see it's still nice and sharp doesn't get weird halo effect so yeah so if you are going to 
use the SJ Cam SJ4000. Uh, you can set the exposure value slightly lower, or uh, yeah, try to keep it where you can still get like a lot of detail in the sky. And in the shadow area, you can actually lift it up in post without actually getting or losing that much of info and you still get like a really nice dynamic range afterwards so yeah that was the tip of today so if you have any other questions please comment below if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe and i'll see you the next time bye bye